Glenn Sumagaysay became aware of her artistic inclination when she was only three years old. But the Palawan-born artist was rather shy and often struggled to conceal this creative gift. She, in fact, opted to take an AB Communication Arts course at the University of Santo Tomas. It was when she accepted the transfer program at the Los Angeles City College, however, that she decided to pursue her passion for the arts. It was at the California State University in Long Beach where she took her Bachelor of Arts in Art, Option, and Studio Art course that she was finally able to come out of her protective shell and teach herself the deeper purpose of art. With Klang's renewed passion for the arts, she returned to the Philippines and to Palawan in 2009. She then started having solo exhibitions and in the ensuing years, California and Palawan have been the galleries of her work. Most of my, my stay in the U.S., uh, California, because iba rin yung kultura doon, like, uh, parang medyo may pagka-pop surrealism, low-brow yung style nila. Personally, uh, art is meditation. Kasi, para sa akin, um, something spiritual to me. Once you paint, you're like in the zone. You're tapping into this um, realm of infinite possibilities that can only be portrayed or allegorized through your work, like figuratively either or abstractly. In my case, figurative yung style ko. Although I, I don't want a box in malagay sa box, like gusto ko out of the box na kasi pwede naman ako mag-oscillate between different styles. Back in Palawan, Klang has brought to her hometown new things she learned from California's vibrant art scene. These include selling artworks and conducting on-the-spot painting sessions on parks, sidewalks, and other public places. There are various ethno-linguistic groups that consider Palawan as home. Among the original inhabitants are the Cuyunons, who possess a rich legacy of folklore and tradition. We will meet a Cuyunon artist when my city, my SMI art returns. Mm -hmm.